Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be making some reversible seamless string bikini bottoms. And before we get started, I want to say a quick thanks to today's sponsor, Homesick Candles. I'm the type of person that constantly has candles going and I've been wanting to buy a candle from Homesick actually for a while now. As the name implies, these candles are inspired by home. So I picked out the Southern California candle since I recently moved to Texas from there. And I was a little nervous about liking the scent, but it's actually pretty universal. It's a mix of zesty orange and some soft florals as well, and I really like it. The fragrance is pretty strong, but it disperses well throughout the room, and it actually lingers for a while too, which I love. I notice that sometimes in the middle of the night, I'll randomly smell it even though it's unlit. Plus, Homesick now not only has states, but they also have fall-themed candles as well as cities and memories. The states candles make really good gifts for anyone you know who's moving or going off to college. The candles are also very good quality and they burn for over 60 hours, plus they're made in the USA, which as a maker myself, you know that I love supporting USA businesses. And the candles all have great reviews. This Texas candle has one four star review, but the lady doesn't say why she only gave four stars, so I don't trust her. Her mom liked it, so. But anyways, I hope you guys go check out Homesick Candles and use the link in the description to score me some brownie points. Anyways, moving on to the video. Alrighty, so for materials, we're going to be using our usual items, namely swimwear fabric and elastic. For a list of all the tools I'm using here, please see the description box. I'm also using the kit pattern, which is available on my website. If you don't want to buy the pattern from me, then watch some of my other videos to get a good idea on how I make my patterns. So the first step is going to be cutting out our pieces. We're going to be cutting two pieces of the front and two pieces of the back. We're next going to cut our straps, which I like to make four straps that are about 10 to 15 inches long. For this video, I cut one big strap and I make them 1.25 inches wide. Next, we'll attach the fronts to the backs and pin along the crotch. Sew across and on one piece leave a one inch hole. We will also sew our strap down the open edge. I'm using a Baby Lock Evolution serger, but use a zigzag stitch if you don't own a serger. Next, take our two pieces and match right sides together. Pin all along the remaining open sides and sew all around. In this tutorial, I'm using woolly nylon thread since it's stretchy and it works best with swimwear. I went over thread in my supplies blog post, so check that out if you're interested. Uh, again, the link is in the description box. Next, 
Next, we're gonna pop on our elastic. I'm using half inch rubber elastic today, and I'm just gonna sew exactly where we just sewed on the bikini. And I'm also gonna throw some onto the straps. If you want some quick tips on sewing with elastic with swimwear, see my how to make swimwear straps video. Flip your straps inside out and cut them into four equal pieces. Using the hole we left in the first step, insert each of the straps in the strap opening so that it's just peeking out. Sew across, going over twice or more if you want to make it more secure. Trim your extra threads and using the hole from the first step, take the entire swimsuit right side out. To finish the hole, I'm going to use a blanket stitch. I will be making a tutorial on this stitch very soon. And here is our final product. If you want to make this a two-way reversible bottom, then use two different fabrics, but these are already reversible as is. And they're seamless since all the seams are on the inside and we're not doing any sort of top stitch or finishing stitch. Thank you for watching and I hope you stick around for more from me and my channel.